Jag kan bara slänga in en ny. Nej. Nej. Det är Jag kommer göra det på engelska. Oh. Alltså du vet. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so first off, uh, tell us about your Melo 24 song and what inspired you to return. Uh, well, what inspired me to return was uh, actually this year when I got the um, same there, uh, Hall of Fame award. Award, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I entered the the big the big room and I just felt the energy and I just I was like, come on, I need to do this again. I really, I, I decided there and then that I need to do this again. And then uh, I um, contacted my old friend uh, Michel Zitron. We wrote music back in the days, maybe 15, 20 years ago, and uh, I wanted to make a song that had the same air and, and breathe the breath of uh, my old music. Yeah. So I'm, I'm reclaiming my own old sound back and uh, uh, it feels like we have, uh, we've uh, written a, a real nice song that, that has depth to it. Uh, and, and high energy, so I'm I'm super stoked. Yeah, I'm excited. And can you tell me about your song Inge som Solen and how you ended up collaborating with Mopi? Mm. So I was in the studio with uh, Joakim Bellman, a uh, producer, and uh, he actually reached out to uh, Jacky and uh, said, uh, why don't you just come over to the studio and, and, and let's do something together. And I know her from, from before, but uh, it never occurred to me to to just reach out so he did it and uh, we wrote the song together had super super fun wrote actually a couple of songs but uh, Ingenes and Sogno was was the one that stuck uh, it was really nice yeah it's nice to see like people collaborating like yeah that. definitely and she's a wonderful person massive voice uh, yeah she's uh, she's great yeah. And I wanted to ask you, because it's like Christmas time and mm -hmm. some people are like struggling during this time. Yeah. And would you give like one advice for people that want to support anyone who is like struggling? Uh, there's, there's so many ways to struggle, <laughs> to support, uh, support struggling people. I mean, uh, like in, in Sweden we have a lot of uh, uh, homeless people. You can go to homeless shelters and uh, support them by just being there, talking to them. I've done that a lot. Uh, being part of their uh, Yulbud. Uh, and uh, seeing people, just acknowledging one another. That's, that's important. Christmas wasn't always so positive for me when I grew up. And uh, I've always tried to escape it. I've uh, always go abroad or try to do something else but as uh, time as I've gr grown older I just feel that uh, I try to make something better out of it so uh, seize it thank you so much Thanks. <laughs> Jag kommer göra allting på engelska, så att du är beredd på det. Aha, uh -huh. all right, yeah. let's do that. Cool. I'm gonna try my best. Yeah. yeah. I think we will. Yeah. Uh, and first question is, tell us about how you get started to make music. How I started in, in general, or how I started with... Making music. Making music. I've always loved music. Love, music has always been a part of me in literally everything I do. So, but... I think the, like how I really started and started to doing it for real, that's when I met like my friends that were doing music and there was a studio and, as, um, and it was like a youth organization and that I started in and they had music studio and I started writing and I had a coach and you know, yeah. that's how it started. And now we're here. Yeah. yeah? <laughs> and what is your musical background? My musical background? Um, like in what I listen to or like yeah, listen to like if you play an instrument oh I wish I mean I know a little some some piano here and there yeah. but uh, I wouldn't say I know how to play an instrument like that mm -hmm. but I do listen to all kind of genres mm -hmm. literally I you know at home I grew up my mom used to listen to a lot of reggae a lot of country mm -hmm. uh, I love R&B Afro beats hip hop you know it's a lot nice. <laughs> at home. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, 
And what inspired you to apply to Melody Festival? You know, this is a show or a contest I've always been watching since a kid, since I was a little kid. So for me to, you know, you know, when I saw it on the screens, I was like, oh my God, this is so cool, this is amazing. And since I do what I do, for me, it was just, it was, it was obvious for me, you know? Um, and I love as well how they do it, like, this is prime time, literally. So if you want to do music, if you want to pursue a career, somehow this is, this is a way to go as well, you know? So, yeah. yeah. There's a big pla platform. It is a big platform, so, yeah. So, what can you tell us about the Your Mellow song and what is the inspiration behind it? The inspiration um, is very, like, it's, it's, it's a lot of dance, it's a lot of colors, it's a lot, you know, it's, it's you dance a lot. And um, it's giving a flirty vibe, it's giving sensational vibe, it's giving, you know, and we are very welcoming, you know, because I have a lot, I have dancers and they know, and they know what they're doing. So, but I'm literally excited to perform this because I think people will love this. Yeah, I'm excited yeah. to see it. Yeah. It's like nice. And yeah. Good. It's something new on Mellow. So, yeah, like I'm that. excited. I like that. <laughs> And I was wondering, what inspired you to work as a coach for young people? Um, what I love, especially, is one thing, is equality. So I work as a coach, but mostly focus on the girls. Mm -hmm. um, when it comes to equality questions, uh, when it comes to, you know, give women or young women confidence and you know self-esteem and and also you know keeping it together like stay together for me that's really important so that was a push and since I have the music in the background and we are also like a youth organization and we have a lot of studios and equipments to give you know it's for me it was just um, an obvious thing to uh, good thing to work with yeah can I ask you what youth organization it is? Um, what, what name? Yeah. yeah, the organization is called Free Zone. Mm -hmm. uh, and we it's, it's two organizations. It's Wagenert and it's Free Zone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you Funny know. Ah, you see that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Hmm. And I wanted to ask you a last question. Hmm? Can you give one advice to anyone who might want to support someone that might be struggling during this like Christmas time? Hmm. I would I wouldn't say don't give up, but trust in yourself and believe in yourself. You know, and uh, there is always somehow light under the tunnel, you know, and um, yeah, and love yourself first before you can love others, because it's different times now, yeah. it's hard times, so, and if you have people, good people around you, take care of them, because I, cause I always say, good people are very expensive nowadays, so, uh, yep, that's the advice. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Check it out. I'm thinking it out. <laughs> so, welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> and I wanted to know what inspired you to return to Melo as a solo artist? Um, I think uh, the first, last year was was very much, I wouldn't say it's Ewan Hendrik's song, but it felt like I was there very much to to make him proud, to make his song and his vision the, the right thing. Mm -hmm. And and I think we did a great job and I'm, I'm super proud of what we did then. But yeah. since then, for now six months, all I've been thinking about is just, I want to be there and make my mark and show mm -hmm. who I am, you know? Yeah. And really make that sort of, that leap into that solo artist uh, world. So it's been a six months, it's been some of the toughest time of my life, but it's also been some of the most fun just because I've been able to focus on this and really mm -hmm. make, make something really cool, so. I'm excited. Yeah. Can you tell us about your mellow song? So the song uh, this year is, it's called Supernatural, mm -hmm. and it's very much inspired by that word. It's, uh, it's something I wrote at probably the happiest time of my life, where I was feeling like, oh my god, this, this, is, this is just like, I'm feeling like a supernatural, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like it, I was just on top of the world, and it was, uh, I think a lot of it had to do with finally letting myself do what I love, which is music, obviously, and, and, and being an artist and the stuff I never dared to do. And a lot of it 
getting to do that was because of uh, the woman I was with at the time uh, and because of my family and just that love, how, how that sort of strengthened me and made me into who I want to be. Mm -hmm. uh, so it started out with that and, uh, and I just brought three people that I love into the process and we, we made something in, in a day that I'm just like so unbelievably proud of and ever since then I've just been been working on it and trying to make it perfect and the performance everything it has to be and, and I'm I'm really excited I think it's gonna be pretty big yeah I'm excited too because like what is the biggest difference from your solo song even compared to the song you competed with with Hendrik and Art North so it's always in the same world world because I do dance music and I want to mm -hmm. stay in the dance music world but this is a lot bigger of a song uh, it's it's a um, it's a harder song in a lot of ways, and is in like it's it's got some some punch to it mm -hmm. in another way. But um, but I think it has a lot more of that cinematic, almost you know, larger than life feeling. And I wanted to capture the supernatural feeling. Mm -hmm. I want everyone who's who's listening and, and watching to feel exactly what I felt when I wrote it. And mm -hmm. and that takes time to really hone that in. Mm -hmm. But I think we've done a good job already. And and I've got you know three months left to, to or two months to, to make it perfect um, but already I, I think it's it's getting there yeah I'm excited to see it because it's like different because I can tell yeah you have like a visual thinking of it so yeah it's like so I wanted to know like uh, name one of your favorite music videos of all time favorite music videos oh I think um, oh what's that one uh, hit me baby one more time. Uh, you know, with Britney Spears. Yeah, that's probably yeah. my favorite one. Yeah, that's, that's fun because I didn't expect something. Like that. <laughs> no, I was a huge Britney fan when I was younger. Yeah. And what is your favorite show to binge watch? Mm, you know, I don't binge watch that much anymore. I, I watch like I watch stupid stuff like Rick and Morty and stuff when I when I go to bed just because it's their sound. Mm -hmm. But I remember when I was younger, I used to binge watch like The Vampire Diaries all the time, oh, yeah. all the time. I was such a <laughs> sucker for those things. It was horrible. Yeah, I started to watch those too again. Oh really? And it's, yeah, and it's like it's weird because I, I thought it was like a longer period of time, but so yeah. much happening in like the first season. Yeah. So it's like they're always in the dance thing and it's always like someone getting kidnapped. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, it's always something. But yeah. it's a good show. Yeah, I yeah, love it. Yeah, it is. And who, who are your biggest creative inspiration? Ooh, you know, I... Um, it's hard. When it comes to songwriting, John mm -hmm. Bellion is a huge one. He's, he's, he's sort of the reason I started writing in the first place. Uh, since then, uh, I've, I've really gotten into Fast Boy, uh, you might not know, but they're really good songwriters as well, and make sort of the same music that I, I uh, create. And then when it comes to the creative part, I actually th I find Lorene's style to be extremely inspiring, uh, and something, in, especially in this forum, which, which I, I really find interesting. So I, I look to her a lot, and uh, yeah. And lastly, uh, can you give like one advice to anyone who wants to support someone who might be struggling during Christmas time because it's yeah. like a lot of people doing that? Absolutely. I mean, I mean, myself included. I, um, I've had a really, really rough year where I've, I've lost what I thought to be my, the love of my life in a lot of ways. And, and, uh, and I've gotten to a point where now I'm bouncing back finally, but it took months. And I, mm -hmm. I know that feeling of feeling alone and, and left behind. And, and uh, it's, I know it can be rough, but then again, there's always like, and I think a lot of this this song that, that I've made, it came from the brightest point of my life, but it's never been more relevant than now that I'm in a darker point because it it makes me it makes me strong knowing that even in my darkest time, there's as long as you just let love in, there's there's light at the end of that tunnel and, and there's something better coming. So no matter how how lonely or, or how harsh it gets, just just allow yourself to feel, allow yourself to love, and, and it'll it'll be alright, you know? Yeah. So thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>